Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea, you know that and I know that. I am in Arizona right now. I'm in a hotel, so sound quality might not be like that great. I'm very sorry, but I wanted to get this video out for you. What the f is that? I'm gonna check and see what that is real quick, but I will be right back and we will continue. <laughs> what the f is this? <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Been in here for hours. Do you wanna film a video? Okay, come on. Hello. Hi. All right. So uh, y'all know Savannah. If you don't, why, what are you doing? She was just hiding in my closet for hours. She is going to do the honors of doing Top Fails number 90 with me. Ooh. Little disclaimer. Are you ready? Do you know the disclaimer? No. That I've been having to say in videos from now on so that people don't think I'm a mean girl. Oh, why? A mm. Girl. <laughs> we don't know anyone who is put in these videos. We don't know them personally. It's not about them. We don't care to know them. We don't need to know them. This is all about the manipulation, the lies, the cult tactics, making sure that you don't fall for a scam, showing you these things and them saying these things so that you can then see that on the internet and be like, oh my gosh, I know that that is a lie. Yeah, I totally know. But also goofing a little bit too, right? We do be goofing. We be goofing. <laughs> we do be goofing. So I just posted a story that um, Christina tagged me in and I got to talk to her and meet her today and kind of go over some things. Um, but it made me realize that I haven't really come on here and um, talk about coaching and what it's done for me these past couple of months and how it's helped me change. Um, sorry. <laughs> The children right. are like asking for attention. Yeah, stop talking. I'm so talking. sorry, but the children in the background are already making me upset. <laughs> They're like, mommy, and she's like, shut up. I need to yeah. scam people on Instagram Live. Whenever they're like, I just realized that I haven't come on here. Ma'am, you're always on Your here. Your life is on here. You're, oh, you're always. You live on Instagram and you never leave. No. Became a really big outlet for me. Um, being home this year and not teaching, I needed something a little bit more. And so I jumped into coaching and it's- Is she in money? Oh, I have no clue. She said Christina. So I was thinking that was like, you know, the lady who was a Angelique. Yes, not that one. Well, she said coaching though. And typically people in money don't use that word. They usually yeah. say mentor. So you think she's in body? They like to move their body. <laughs> well, didn't they just rebrand? Yeah. Yeah. B O D I. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just weird how she's like, I just needed more. Uh, what? You're not being fulfilled enough by teaching children? Who thinks? You know what? I need a hobby. I'm going to get a job. I'm gonna work for free. No, paint. Paint rocks. <laughs> yeah. You should paint rocks. Oh, I forgot. Why does she run like a cartoon character? I am a cartoon character. Okay. <laughs> How many rocks do you have in your bag? Oh, these are the ones I just go hide when I'm out and about. Hold on. I hide them. We need to unpack this. What? Why? You just go hide your painted rocks? Uh-huh. Or you're like a goblin? Uh-huh. So like back, I wrote Phoenix Hidden Rocks with the little Facebook signs. People know to go to the Facebook. I don't run this page. I just, so yeah, so what happens is there's like 40,000 people in this Facebook group. So like I hide this rock and then someone turns it around and they go, oh, there's a Facebook group for it. And then they post a picture of the rock and say, I just found this rock. This is a donkey. It says, we snow. And, um... <laughs> There's a cat hair on it though. It says we snaw. <laughs> and then this one's just like a little dandelion. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But um <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Must be the last one is shaking. I jokingly told Savannah to paint my butt on a rock and she she did it. I said bet. <laughs> that is me looking back at it, having a sp stay spicy butt cheek. Sploy. I, that is sploy right there. Thank you. It doesn't get more sploy than that. It anyway, that's you know yours. That's going in my. Yeah, don't bag you dare right lose now. that. I will never. That's a, a, a original. I was going to say Savannah Marie original. It came out as original. I want to be original. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's not about the workouts anymore. Like, I, I think like mentally, I'm in a much happier place. Um, I mean, I guess it is about the workouts. Um, I mean, you have to say that right. 
it provided because if it's not about the workouts then what's it about recruiting mm -hmm. people mm. hey you have to pause that when you want to talk sorry i just like <laughs> i just say things you know how to film videos no what's, what's that <laughs> what are we doing i went to chicago to see savvy for her is there someone else in the class <laughs> <laughs> so, who else is here so it's funny that she's like i think that it has helped me mentally. Like, I'm happier. It's like, you think you are or like, are you? I mean, is she talking about the business or the workouts? Because like, shocking workouts make you release endorphins. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you do feel better. Shocking. Uh. They work so much on like mindset and stuff like that. And they like make you brainwash yourself basically. And then it's like, no, you're realistically probably not happier, not more successful. You're just telling yourself that you are. And that's just a mask. And that's like, that can mentally mess with you so much. But that too, I mean, there's the mm -hmm. attraction mark marketing part of it right so it's like even if she's totally not happy she's the least happy she's ever been in her whole life she's going to sit in front of that camera and she's going to say I am so happy because then people who are unhappy are going to see her story yeah. and go I want to be happy like her yeah it's all I think it's all intertwined it's probably both of those things going on at the same time brainwashing making yourself believe that you're happy and then like lying to everybody did you know that if you just believe it, you can do it. You'll be a trillionaire. I want to be. Okay, I believe it now. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. You know what? We're going to the next one. I don't care about her anymore. <laughs> All right, let's go to this one instead. Okay. Oh my God, six minutes, Chelsea. What the f am I? Why do I have such long ones in here? <laughs> just up that playback speed. It'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, what the f Thursday, I just gave myself a blowout with the Dyson. So I had it up for some volume in the front. She does I'm still learning now. how to like, perfect it, but definitely getting better. I love it. I love it. I added some dry texturizing spray for added like body, but I'm gonna need to put my hair right back up because we're gonna do Her? BB cream. Okay, perfect. So I'm using the shade Nude today. I am getting paler and paler by the literal second. So, I take back what I said about how so long her hair is but I'm using still. She does have pretty hair. <laughs> no, it's not pretty. This is offensive to me. I'm going to the bottom. You know what else is offensive? Is the fact that their BB cream or CC cream, whatever it is, guess how many shades it comes in? Like six, right? Mm, yeah. If, yeah. If you have any melanin, you can't wear Monet's BB cream. No, that is so incredibly offensive. And I don't know how any people of color are like- Just okay with it. Yeah, just like okay with- still being in that company when it's like the company clearly doesn't fucking care about you clearly i mean they don't do they still not have like a line for like natural curly hair because i know for a long time they didn't and people were saying that monate's not good for people who don't have like straight thin hair <laughs> i don't i don't think that they do there have been people who have said like oh no it it's like it's brought my like curl pattern back but obviously there's so many different textures yeah with you know black hair and so it's like they don't yeah it doesn't treat like treat or like work for all of them and it's messed up i mean i've just heard that money like super dries out your hair if you use it on hair like that and that's the opposite you want to do for exactly curly hair so it's like exactly. what are you doing yeah anyway no they're so they're um a bb cream unique even like they're a full-on makeup mlm and they didn't even have like they had like two shades for like semi-dark skin in their foundation line i don't know if that's changed recently rodan and fields has like six shades oh yeah I saw that too. And it was so expensive. I liked it when I, cause I were, I was in that one and I, I liked that product, but then, and even my sister-in-law and like a few other people I knew liked it too. But then it was frustrating because what they would say was like, oh, we'll just buy, buy two of them and mix them together. That's $200. Yeah. Dude, when I was in Lime Life, they used to do the same thing. Yeah. Um, like right when I left, they- I was in that one too. Oh, oh yeah. I watched your video before I joined. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then I- or and after, you joined anyway. No, out, oh. it was after. That's oh, when okay. I realized what it was. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, no. So when I joined, it was still Limelight by Alcom before same. they changed their name. Yeah. Again, like six foundation shades. And they were saying the same thing. Buy two, mix them together because it was either like, like white or darker, like darker white. But I'm like in the middle of those. So I'm not a chemist. Yeah. Why am I mixing things together? Well, then they would tell you that you can melt the pans because it was like a wax foundation and you put it on the stove and melt it and then you can like literally mix it together. We cook and meth? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. It's so weird. Oh my God. Her lips look good though. She is very pretty. She also, with all, all due respect. Which is none. She can suck my.
I give her no due respect, dude. For two days, so I will be in the sun, but honestly, I'm probably gonna hide my face from the sun anyway. I'm on a couple different medications for my skin, so. Accutane. Sorry. Um, Wait, no. Yeah, that's the. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We didn't just like break HIPAA violations, by the way. <laughs> I don't want people to be like, why are you just saying, like, <laughs> how do you know what medication she's on? You're such a stalker. <laughs> no, I've been in medical sales, and that's been a question you have to ask for, like, certain injections and fillers and, like, medical screening. Well, it's like, are you on Accutane? It's a big thing, from yeah. what I understand, so. It, it, you have a it. lot of, like, restrictions if you're on it. It's yeah. crazy. I look like a freaky Zeke boy. Cool. <laughs> a little big Z boy. A <laughs> big Z. Ooh, that sounds so that sounds good. So Right. Olive Garden. Are you okay? <laughs> I only ate a honey Olive bun. Garden. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not really supposed to be in the sun at all, but that is okay. I'm gonna stop taking the antibiotic one before I go, because obviously I'm gonna be in the sun. Like I'm not risking third degree burn. Not happening. I'm just so excited. Like I cannot believe I'm going on another fully paid for trip. It, it's wild to me. The amount of experiences I have simply just because of money is insane. I would not be traveling the way I do. I mean, I definitely would be traveling for free. That's for sure. But some of the places that they've sent us, I would have never gone. You know who this trip is fully paid for? For like one person? No, the one that I am with right now with you in this room. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one is paid for my company. <laughs> yeah. And fully paid for a trip. Love that. I have not paid for anything from my personal account. I love that. And neither has Tony. That's amazing. That's cool. Dude. Even like renting a car and stuff, they cover all that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my God, I know, right? It's fully so cool. paid for. That's what happens when you, one, are an actual business owner. And then two, I would hope that if you are going on a work trip, because keep in mind, they, they still like, if you go look at like the itinerary and call sheets that they send out for these trips, you will see that they have like, from this time to this time, you're gonna meet in this conference room and we're gonna do this and then we're gonna yeah. do like this and this. And it's not a vacation. It's, it's a work it's, trip. It's yeah, exactly. So I would fudging hope <laughs> that your company, your employer is paying for a work trip. Right, right. yeah. Yeah. But most of these people still have to pay for sh Well, yeah, because it's not actually fully paid for. Right. But yeah. I mean, doesn't Monet usually give away like, one or two packages where they pay for the airfare or is that a different mlm so they do so the like bottom one the bottom tier they pay for the airfare in the room mm -hmm. and then for one person mm -hmm. and then there's like another one where it's like airfare room and a like 200 or 300 dollar like voucher for like food and drinks right and that's like the next one and the next one above that and this is not a fact i'm just like spitballing here then the one above that i believe is like you can bring a, an extra person and like they get the same thing okay so, so i mean they they pay for things but like not for everything yeah but depending also depending on what rank you are like breakfast lunch dinner snacks alcohol for a three-day trip that's going to be more than 200 to 300 oh 100 percent. you'll blow through yeah. that in one day yeah, I'm trying to think, like, yesterday, Tony and I, we probably, I mean, well, today, tonight we'll probably spend $300 on dinner. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? The yeah. top of the rock house. Oh, yeah. I was looking at that. They got chicken and donuts. And it looked so good. That sounds so good. Listen, RIP to my digestion <laughs> It's gonna be worth because, it. <laughs> no, this, it is, it is. Business in 2017 with Monet for $300 a month. Like, all I wanted was $300 a month. That's it. I bought my product pack and I was like, listen, if I could just make this investment back and then make $300 a month, I will be so happy. To me, that was a dream. My first ever bonus check the month after I started was $300. I remember looking at that check. I was literally in a frat house when I got it. Like This is an income claim. Correct. And you can't be doing that. Correct. Ma'am. Per the FTC, you can't make false income claims. Right. But then per money, you can't make any income claim. Right. Which is sketchy. Right. Real sketchy. And we do know specifically how much she has made. I'm going to be a good girl. <laughs> and I'm not going to share that information <laughs> publicly. But I'll, I'll look. The sideline of Kayla Caputo. Ooh. Yeah. Kayla, suck my ass. <laughs> With no due respect. Yes, yeah. thank you. Years old, okay. 19 years old, at a frat party. I got my bonus check in my email and I was like... I started crying. I was like, my life has changed already. For $300?
Excuse me. And I don't like it when these freaking people are just like, all I wanted was $300. You absolutely signed into this believing that you can make yourself financially free because that's what was sold to you, dude. Yeah. So don't sit here and lie and be like, all I wanted was $300. No. You can make as much or as little as you want if you just want to pay for your groceries or if you want to be a trillionaire. Well, obviously, anyone would want more money. Exactly. If I could choose between a bazillion dollars and paying for my groceries with money every month, I would choose the bazillion dollars. Yeah. Easy. And I think most people would also. And it's from sharing products on social media, which I swore I would never do. <laughs> and it just changed my entire life. My entire life. Life and I did not plan on doing this full time. I was going to school to be a nurse. I was literally changing my major between nursing and pre-med and all I wanted to do was just work in the medical field because I thought that was the only way to make the money that I wanted to make, right? So I started this just to get me through college. It very quickly became apparent to me that I was going to make more money here than I ever could with my degree. So. I doubled down on my business. You guys, this is not easy work. <laughs> it, it's not, I don't wanna say it's hard because physical labor is hard, okay? <laughs> Getting on social media every day and sharing products, it, it's not hard. But I also don't want you to think that you buy a product pack and get rich overnight. That's not the case and I don't wanna give anyone false expectations. But if you are coachable and you are willing to work, you're willing to put yourself out there, you're willing to show up, I mean, the sky is the limit. And I feel like I'm just getting started five years into this. I've been doing it for five years, I will do this forever. There is nothing that will ever replace mommy in my life, ever. Yes, I started real estate, but that's just because I can, because I have time, I have extra time. It sounds to me like you have a plan B. Yeah. If money goes down, which it probably yeah. What? Welcome. I'm glad you have a second stream of income. Isn't that what you guys always <laughs> preach anyway? Dude, I, I just like the things that are coming out of her mouth. I am not good. None of it's good. It's so manipulative, dude. And it's, I mean, really not to be expected by most people. Do you notice the one thing she didn't mention? What? You? <laughs> no. <you're, laughs> why are you looking at me so seductively? I'm just looking at <laughs> Serena, if you want to kiss me in the closet, uh, okay. Oh my God, you're making me sweat. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'll tell you what she did not mention was recruiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to make or a comment a about that, but I was she didn't, um, she didn't mention any of that. It was all, and it wasn't even selling products. Just it was sharing. sharing. Uh, but I'm, we all I just, know. I just share. I just share products. It's easy. You're already doing it. You might as well get into it. <laughs> yeah, um, we already know ma'am, that sharing the products is not what makes you your money. Uh -uh. It's what you're doing right now, sitting on Instagram stories and literally lying to and people. trying to recruit people. Maybe not even lying, but like at least like giving false expectations or unreal expectations, which she was just like, I don't want to do that to anybody. Your entire life is showing people a very unrealistic expectation. Yeah. And then they're believing it. Also, is she sped up? She talks really slow. Because yeah. I was just thinking, I'm so, like, so she doesn't slow. sound yeah. like she's sped yeah. up. I'm like, I think I talk faster than this. Yeah. In as, just normal. As we were just listening to her, I'm like, that was a six minute video. We didn't even get like three minutes into it because I, I just, I can't. Yeah. It's just too much. If it gets worse, like I don't want to have an aneurysm. So let's yeah. Oh my God. Go to the next one. Yeah, I don't want that to happen either. I've never had one, but you know, maybe it would happen. Yeah. All right, so the this is on TikTok and the comment that this person's responding to says, let me know how this MLM works out for you in the end. Trust me, I have known people that have participated in this. It's actually working out beautifully. I'm down 55 pounds and taking I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I know. <laughs> you know what? Like you just press play. But we played it two times and I'm for sure she said beautifully and not beautifully. She's working out beautifully. I'm down 55. Beautifully. I, I think she like says it fast so it's like slurring. No, she said beautifully. She said beautifully. She said beautifully. She said okay. Pounds have taken several trips. I've earned several um, thousands of dollars. So I don't know why people get stuck in other people's stories. At the end of the day, some people are just simply too lazy to work from home. No, she said it. I don't know why other people get stuck in other people's stories. First of all, what does that mean? Second of all, because you're sharing about it constantly. Right. And on social media. So yes, people are going to engage with it and comment on it and typically call you out on something if it's wrong. Cite your sh 
ma'am, how many traveling expeditions have you gone on thanks to this MLM? What MLM is this, you know? Traveling expedition? Why, is she, is she an astronaut? Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> my MLM sent me to the moon last month. They will probably f start saying that soon. Fully paid for. <laughs> Elon Musk is I went to the Mariana Trench last week, <laughs> fully paid for by money, and you would not believe the fact that's my soul went to. Do you know that the Bermuda Triangle is a real place? Because I went there, thanks to Monet. <laughs> my downline talked back to me. Let's just say you won't be hearing from her again. Let's just say the Bermuda Triangle took care of that. <laughs> and that's shaped like a pyramid too, and it's not a pyramid scheme. I forgot what I was saying though. Oh yeah, no, I... <laughs> you started glitching, like... My what? <laughs> my mind is a glitch all the time. Same. Okay, but like what though? Like, are you? You could say that. I could sit here and be like, Chelsea, I have been to Dubai. Oh, I want to go. Me too. But I've never been to Dubai. But I said that. It's like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, anyone can get up there and say anything, dude. But I feel like with Instagram, you can like go through someone's feed and be like, okay, yeah, they went here, they went here, whatever. But then on on uh, the tippy toppies. When you go it like it's truly such short form yeah. content and it's so easy for people to lie on there and it's it's like a whole different beast i was talking about this with someone the other day like it tiktok is it's spooky over there and they don't do anything speaking of spooky i i swear to god there's someone else in that class <laughs> that's reginald oh reggie oh okay no sorry i, I think it keeps going Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that, that was so that awkward. Lady, she didn't even. That lady left. <laughs> Drink your ketones. It's like they're trying to do like a fake boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs the boomerang when you can yeah. just do it yourself? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stupid. trying to do what like do the transitions yeah being really bad at it yeah yeah that's what I was thinking too I mean literally what you have to do is you have to get right up on there I <laughs> but like, yes, yeah. like yeah, it has to be dark dude yes so yes or like the same color or something so that like you're holding it up right and then it switches and then it's like you right because that is how a transition works you can't do it from back here transition <laughs> this just <laughs> so that's glorious mm -hmm. but these are the people who are like i'm a social media seller <laughs> I, i'm a social media marketer <laughs> I, I can teach you these people are saying they're gonna teach you how to use social media but what i won't do is teach you how to edit because <laughs> i don't know how to do that either i can teach you how to use social media but i won't do is teach you how to use social media because <laughs> i don't know how. you know social media these days is basically all about video and i don't know how to do that sorry clearly <laughs> okay that that lady did good with the pink one and she did okay she did not do it with her own camera that lady's filming on a potato <laughs> <laughs> that lady didn't do it right either oh, oh that one did good she did good no. Well, I mean, it could have worked. If you, well, I think the other problem is too, is that they all have different looking water bottles. So like, it's not like you can just do the like easy. If you got, if you got close enough, it could be dark enough. Yeah, that's, that's the, the only way to do it. Yeah. If it's, I mean, even if you get like this close enough, it'll be like dark enough to a certain yeah. point. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. But all their water bottles are like seven different colors and different designs and shit. like, you either got to get really, really close or just don't even 
Right at all. What are you doing? I don't know if y'all know this. I was gonna do like a full weekly roundup video on it. I probably still will because it's like ridiculous, but I always have to like preface it. WFAB is a company within the company I or nope. Mm, Not a company. Mm -hmm. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> iGenius is a team within No, no! <laughs> What is happening? You're getting it wrong. First of all, how dare you? <laughs> Second of all, I'll tell you what's what. Okay, so do you need me to say it? Can you? <laughs> WFAB is a team within the company iGenius. And they used to be with who? Monet. And they are led by who? I know Dreamus is not the actual leader. She's just like the face of it, She's right? the fall guy. Yeah, what yeah. I feel like. Yeah. It's what's, weird. What's the other one's name? I'm so proud of you for forgetting, but Jasmine. Yes. Okay. With WFAB, Lily, she was at the top of, not WFAB, she had her own team, but mm -hmm. she was at like, really like the top, top of, not super top, but she was like one of the top people in iGenius. Mm -hmm. Well, she skedaddled Bye. and she didn't start a new MLM, but it's like a new MLM that like is starting and apparent, apparently, Ooh. allegedly, she has been boinking the owner of the company, like the CEO, like the found, like truly the person who started it. Do we know the name of the new company? Yes, e EA Economy. Oh. Go check out Isabella's videos. She's done multiple, she's so Quick. Yeah, she's done so many videos. She on is. Her. Yeah, and she also has a lot of videos on Lily Zamba, whatever. So go That's watch where that. I know her name from. Yeah, it's, it's from yeah. Isabella. Exactly. <laughs> she has a lot of content on it so far, and it's great. It's hilarious because she not only took over a good amount of people from her team, but a good amount of people from from, from WFAB okay. too. Is like that hasn't happened yet <gasps> with this video. The last video we're gonna watch that has already happened. Two or three people who were like higher up in WFAB left for Q Sciences. So one of the top people, yep. one of the original four people, the Daniellas mm -hmm. and Dramus and Jasmine, like the Daniellas, what is this? In the back door? <laughs> yes. Daniella S and Daniella M. They have their um, own reality show, you know. Oh my like, God, that'd be cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, they, <laughs> they did. <laughs> oh yeah, I made videos about that. I <laughs> sure? And so obviously when they leave and they start talking about like how much money they have lost and like how this company sucks and like the other companies better or whatever. Mm -hmm. Both of them, in my opinion, are operating as pyramid schemes because they encourage stacking. Mostly everyone knows what that is, yeah. but Q Sciences, I Am Academy, and this one, allow it. And then wow. there's a few other new ones, I think, that are like putting it in. Like the small new ones that like, we're pretty sure aren't gonna be around in like two years. Elamir and Baby Crashing, dude. Awakened. More people are leaving, more people are leaving. But with Lily, I think that's when like the most people left. Wow. I've said this in videos before. We stand with our Jewish friends and family and the Jewish community. The anti-Semitism in this country right now is absolutely throwing me for a loop and I hate it. Yeah. These bike queens, we don't stand for that, okay? Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. Um, <laughs> that was my I felt, I felt I was about to get caught in there. Um, so her saying... Like, I'm trying to be like, so you're about to see Dramus say, I'm trying to be like the Jews. They make money together. Oh my God. Like, I just want to, I want to make the argument of like, that could, that could be seen as a, a microaggression, but then also it could not be. It's a stereotype. She's, yeah, it, she's 100% it is. It is. Um, anti-Semitic by saying that. Yes. It's the, it's the tone of it. It's the context of it. And it's also just like icky as well. Yeah. Yes, Jewish communities do stick together. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And yes, Jewish people, there is that stereotype of that they are better with money and that they, first of all, one of my favorite things about the Jewish community and about the religion is that they don't want you. <laughs> you cannot join. Yeah, Trisha That's Paytas. One, oh God. <laughs> one of the reasons why they're my favorite. And just like the the culture and just how rich that is. And I just respect that. But you can be a part, it, anything can be a cult. And I mm -hmm. hate when people are like, oh, religion is cult. No, it's not. Like every denomination, every sect, if you will, mm -hmm. and then every congregation too. Like there are Presbyterian churches that mm -hmm. are crazy. Yeah. There are Baptist churches that are weird. Mm -hmm. There are ones that are cool as like my, my Presbyterian church, I love it. Mm -hmm. And it's very, it's very come as you are. And that's like what I'm all about. Yeah. They're also very like transparent about like the money that the church, like, mm -hmm not really makes but you know like obviously don't make profit but like where it goes and stuff they're not out there buying private jets like kenneth copeland and that's the spooky guy right uh-huh okay the, the guy who put you, holy you, water on his fingers and was like eh. you know do you 
I, I did the point because he like was like yelling at someone who was interviewing. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And he's like, he's like don't it. you ever say that. Let's <laughs> get in his car. Uh huh. Like, yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's Kenneth Copeland because sweet. he has a jet. I was raised Christian. Like my yeah. my grandfather. Like hardcore. Yeah. I hardcore. Talk about that. Yeah. yeah. I went as an adult on my own volition went to a fellowship an adult fellowship and like went every week religiously <laughs> quote unquote religiously consistently consistently is, what, is, what is pretty much what say. i what i would have said <laughs> yeah um and i was like 25 when i kind of realized like i don't think this is right guys <laughs> like i don't i don't believe in all this shit. and then he started like reading about like the bible and like actually knowing what's in there and it's like that's not what i was taught like i didn't know this was in there i didn't know this so there's just so much hypocrisy that i i cannot like tie myself to yeah. that and my identity to that i just yeah. can't yeah I, I agree with that and then also the like the mistranslations as well mm -hmm. every translation is different and they yeah they, it's well, written the, the original original mm -hmm. or like one of the first translations was from the german one right and then that's where people get the mistranslation of like man shall not lie with man but what it actually said was allegedly was man shall not lie with boy mm. meaning like don't be a pedophile yeah, yeah. not don't be gay oh i don't know about any of that um, but... it's girl don't you know, get down that hole don't it'll frustrate you even more about <laughs> i'm already really frustrated dude yeah okay so this is dramus being dreamus ew i'm trying to be like the jews D hear me out don't cancel me don't cancel me okay because i saw this reel i can't find it right now but i saw this reel that talked about why jewish people are so wealthy apparently 50 percent of jewish people on average make over six figures a year 50 percent. that's fucking insane i don't know how accurate that is but that's what i read online but anyways this video talked about the reason why they have so much wealth is because they work together like they literally work together they don't go into a business deal or an investment investment by themselves they tell their brothers and their friends and their cousins and that just makes everything 10 times better because you're using more minds than just your own right like when I am investing with somebody else or when I'm starting a business with somebody else or when I'm game planning with somebody else I'm using more than just the power of my mind I get their mind as well and then we get to grow and build wealth together that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to make money together with the squad okay that's not what she's explaining though like what she's describing is like <laughs> Like, a, a pretty normal thing where it's like you shouldn't just like stay in your own mind like you should get it that's why like studies are like peer-reviewed and stuff like that you know you should have other people's mind double check your work but what she's talking about is like if you're on my team we're working together and um we're all making money together no you are making money off of your team it's just interesting she's like we need to make money together and it's and, you know talking about like pushing the aspect of community mm -hmm. and it's like well yeah that's it's interesting because the like the I don't want to say like the best like YouTubers like do collab like the most successful ones, but we do. Um, so. Yeah, <laughs> but that's some, and I've said this before, but it's something that Mr. B said. Like, it's better to you know not gatekeep, and I'm all about that. Mm -hmm. But then, like, yeah, like we're doing a collab. Like, it's gonna clearly going to benefit us mutually, and like that's working together and like making money together, right? But yeah. then it's not at all. <laughs> like, it doesn't. Like, I agree with it. It's the another example of like I agree with the sentiment but not it doesn't apply at all to what she exactly. is actually talking about yeah you're not making money with them you're not equals and you're not like investing in something together you're recruiting them into your downline and you're making money off of them but i also don't know why she had to equate it to jewish people it's like you could have left that out and your point would have still been made because it's a, it's i mean it's a pretty popular or pretty common and well-known stereotype yeah, exactly. I, like i get that's why she did it but it's like that's not a cute look dude it's really not <laughs> and i'm like you really could have like she could have been like we should make money together and mm -hmm. said that she without bringing <laughs> the jewish faith into it like why leave the jews out of it they're, going through, they're going through enough <laughs> they really are they've though. been through enough <laughs> like uh, they don't need any more of your no. shit, man they're already dealing with kanye they don't <laughs> need the pyramid scheme girls um, too he's yay now oh my god you can't you you can't, i can't read I, i'm already done <laughs> you can't suck inside fat explanation explanation exclamation mark i'm getting you can't read too. no i'm um, incredibly <laughs> shocked but can't you suck inside fat she's talking about like the here yeah like a uh, love handles i guess you can't yeah. suck that in i see what she's saying and i am not diminishing what she's done whatever that's okay if she's actually lost weight but realistically it's most likely from actually like lifestyle changes well yeah because people in fitness mlms or whatever will be like oh my god I, I lost the weight because of this mlm and it's like well no but you 
or either one starving yourself with mm -hmm. like Octavia. Mm -hmm. You could have done it without the MLM. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what I think she did here, because you can see, mm -hmm. yeah, it's down there. So you can see where it kind of cuts. Like I could literally do that with my shapewear yeah. right now. I don't want to though, because <laughs> it'd be embarrassing. Yeah, I'm not trying to take off my shaper. And shaper is normal, it's fine. Yeah, I love it. it I love it too. It all sucked in and these are heavy. <laughs> so I think that's what she did here. I mean, it, right. it also, your ma'am, your hair is covering now that part. I, I can't stand when people do right. before and afters and it's not the same angle. It's not the same lighting. She did do the same outfit, but also why are you doing an all black outfit? That's also very deceiving. That's, yeah, no, for sure. She doesn't look any smaller. She just looks more firmed or, you know, not as lumpy. That's just what shapewear does. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so like, that's, well, yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm a day early on my three week update, but I had to share might only be 6.3 pounds, but dang, the inches are incredible, which that, that could be accurate. But look though, like it doesn't look smaller. No, it just looks more smooth. Right. Which is great, but also it seems like you're, so you can also tell she's like standing up more straight too. Mm -hmm. I'll look yeah. real lumpy. I can't exercise until after an injection next, I'm um, sorry, what is this for? Maybe like plantar fasciitis or something. That's a good word. Um, <laughs> it's a feet thing. I haven't changed up my eating portion control and no processed foods. I'm starting to feel the effects of feeling fuller faster. But see, but it, it is an MLM though. Like I, I know oh, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can freaking look her up on Facebook right now. So it can't, it can't be Octavia. So Octavia is all, it's all processed. They say it's not, but it, it is. Well, it's right. So powder I, packet. It's that. Maybe it's beach body or body, excuse me. Maybe it might also, it might also be awakened. Actually, I think mm. it might, I think it might be awakened. Oh, okay. It is, it is <gasps> awakened. Cause this girl, yes. I know yep, her. Yep, we know her. Fuck her. Uh, yeah. Cause she, she she's an awakened. But then also, okay. So it's the same thing of here's my three week progress. So here's the deal. I, I, I worked out five days a week, 30 to 70 minutes each day. I clean eating for the most. Okay. That's all you need to do. Mm -hmm. Like the, those results in three weeks are pretty insane. Are, is that sustainable? Are you going to be taking those pills for the rest of your life? Right. Like what's going to happen when you stop taking them? You're, if that's what's doing it for you. Yeah. So with that, apparently they have shipped out a different product than what they were promoting. Like the ingredients rather are like different. Yeah. What? It has to be illegal though. Almost everything they're doing is illegal. That's true. False advertisement, <laughs> patent infringements, allegedly, all of this is alleged, but it's, those are the claims by FFBM. What the fuck is that? Are those Two. ribs? La that's a rack of lamb. Yeah, lamb chops. Yeah. So this is my best friend and yours, Jesse Lee Ward. Oh, good. And it was an anonymous question that said, do you wear sunscreen or do you believe it's bad for you and the natural sun is better? What? Yeah. Cause that question makes a whole lot of sense. It doesn't so, at all. <laughs> um, I think, I think what they're trying to say is do you use sunscreen or are you the type of person who thinks that sunscreen is like, has all these harmful mm -hmm. chemicals and is basically, do you think it's better to just go in the sun and like, right better to do that instead of just like wearing sunscreen because like the sunscreen's gonna give you cancer. There's those types of people. Yeah, I know, I when know. When realistically there, so some of the, there are some sunscreens that have a an ingredient in it that mm -hmm. if you have extremely high doses of it, yes, mm -hmm. it can cause cancer, but the amount of it that is in sunscreen typically is not going to do anything to you right? Yeah. at all. So of course you put a slab of meat. Mm -hmm. The solution everyone should be looking for is removing toxins from their environment and food so they don't burn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like what? If you have no toxins in your body, you won't get sunburned. Is that what she's trying to say? Hey, Jesse Lee, I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. The melanoma scar on my back is burning right now because of this. It's it's like Harry Potter scar. Oh no. And and responsibly expose yourself daily to the sun. You can't build up a tolerance to the sun. Right. People get that confused with like a building up a tan. You mm -hmm. you can't you absolutely can't yeah, do that. Yeah. Gradually building up a tan. Like you can build up like a tan. You cannot build up a tolerance to the sun. Right, yeah. That is not how that works. <laughs> Responsibly expose yourself daily. Oh, that's so stupid. Is she, is she the type of person that like suns her butt off? Probably, that's a thing. <laughs> but this makes people mad <laughs> to, to think that they can take ownership over their own body. So whatever, oh my God. So, so whatever, whatever. Slather, slathering yourselves with and your children, oh my God, and chemicals, all good, your body, your choice. 
Just All right. <laughs> Water is a chemical. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? No swimming, no bathing, because you're slathering yourself in a toxin. Is is it oxi oxygen a chemical? It's a molecule. I'm thinking of the periodic table. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. But not to quote James Welsh, everything is a chemical. It is, like yeah. water is a chemical. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I have the best followers. Y'all roasted the person who said the sun is dangerous for your health. Roasted them in my DMs. I'm so proud of you. But why are you proud of that? You're like, I sent you all to bully somebody in DMs. Thank you. We're like roasting. Like they were responding to her story. Oh, in yeah. her DMs. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, um, okay. Hmm, that's, I got that wrong. I think it just kind of proves like who's following this person. Oh, other people who are idiots. Uh, other jerks. <laughs> like, yeah. You can have too much of anything. Exactly. People can yeah. die from drinking too much water. So yes, please. Yeah. So this is a girl from WFAB. Again, she's posting this. I just posted it like a week ago. And so that was after Lily Zam, whatever her name is, oh, left yeah. iGenius for the new AE -A -A Academy, A, -A Academy, whatever the hell it's called. Academy. EA Sports. EA Sports. <laughs> this is the sense. Trying so hard right now to get more people in. And Jasmine, I guess, like challenged them to try to recruit like a hundred new people to replace all the people that have left this 100? year. A hundred? Whoa. Yeah. It's Do we know how many people were in WFAB? No. I wanted to come on here and, you know, I talked about Mentorship Day um, a couple of minutes ago when I came in my stories and I actually announced something on TikTok yesterday that I didn't announce on here yet, on Instagram yet. Um, and I actually feel like it's the right time to do it. So basically, I have the goal, okay, by the end of this year, by the end of 2022, I have the goal to help a small group of people, a small group of new people, okay, that are not in a team yet, to earn, I have the goal to help them earn their first thousand dollars online. Okay, so that's my goal. By the end of, the, uh, of this year, by the end of 2022, I want to help 20 new people earn their first thousand dollars online. Okay, and so obviously it goes hand in hand with you know the mission 100 that we're currently having. Okay, I opened uh, my mentorship spots to um, the small packages as well that I usually don't do. Okay, I don't take people um, with those packages. I don't get started people on those packages usually because I feel like if you want the best results, you're gonna start with the best package. And if you you know I pour a lot of energy and a lot of time into my people for them to have the success that they want. So obviously uh, usually I don't take people with the small packages, but for this month only I opened my mentorship spots for um, all the packages. So if you want to get started, you have a lower budget. Okay, you don't have really much money and you still want to get started. Well, it's possible for you now because our smallest package is $99 USD and so for as well as $99 you could get started with me with my mentorship with this financial literacy platform and work towards your goals your financial goals and so why I'm doing that why am I opening my mentorship spots to the package at $99 here I'll answer that question for her you, yeah. want, you want to know why she's doing that because her team quit and now she's desperate yeah they've they've lost so many people over the last really over the last year I mean they've had it just people drop off and leave and then they've also had people go over to Q Sciences and then they've had people leave for other MLMs and now they've had a, a big chunk. And it's the same thing that's happened with, with Moni over the past few years too. But, but yeah. no, she she's doing this because she wants to help people. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all, it's a favor for you. No, but the $299 is because right now you guys need that more than ever, okay? If you thought that right now, the like, like economic situation that we're in right now is at its worst, you got it all wrong, okay? It's gonna get worst, okay? It's gonna get, it's gonna get worst. It's not even like at the peak, okay? So you guys need that financial literacy more than ever. You guys need to be financially literate, financially educated, okay? So it's interesting that she's saying that because she's talking about like the economy. Oh, she's not, okay. But it sounds, because of what we know what has happened, it sounds like she's talking about in the MLM. Like right. if you think the WFAM's going through now is awful, it's yes. gonna get worse. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's that. She's almost self-aware. No, never. And so this platform that you're going to get access to for $99 or $299 is going to be able to help you get out of your financial situation that you're in right now, okay? If you feel like right now you don't even have money to do anything, okay? You don't even have, you know, for example, sometimes we feel like, oh, yeah, but I would love to do that. But you're like, I'd love to do that, but, you know, I barely have money to pay the bills. I barely make enough money to just survive and exist, right? And I get it, but this platform can literally help you get out of your financial situation without you... And I get it, but join my pyramids. <laughs> but please join Listen, my pyramids. I understand right why you're a little scared to join me, but don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm saying sounds too good to be true, but don't worry about it. Earning more money, if that makes sense. Like literally, like with your financial situation that you're in right now, with the money that you're making right now, we have a debt-free system, a debt-free program for you to get out of that situation without like having more money coming through, coming in, if that makes sense. So this, just this, 
is worth your $99. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't really make sense. And I know she keeps saying, if that makes sense, it doesn't. Yeah, because none of what she's saying makes sense. Because she's not explaining it very well, one. And I don't think it's like the language barrier because she, no. she's in the end. She's, she speaks fine. Yeah. It's just funny that she's like explaining, I guess, perks that they have maybe in the MLM. Like, I don't know, like if, or do they have like a financial advisor that you have access to? But it, it doesn't make sense because you are giving them that money, but then also you have to pay a certain right. amount every month as well. So it that's, right, yeah, it yeah. With iGenius, yeah. they have a monthly fee. For yeah. It. So you are going to lose more money. Right. But what is she talking about with like, oh, it's a debt-free thing? Like, so so are they going to guarantee that your membership is paid for? Do they have a program like that? I that doesn't no sound right. No, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> like after that, there are so many other programs, so many other like courses that we have in this platform that's, that is going to help you generate money online with the financial markets, and you don't have to start big. You don't have to. Yeah. 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 Okay. And this platform It wouldn't take it too long, so we have to speed it. So again, my goal is to help twenty of you guys that are not in the business yet get started, okay, and earn your first thousand dollars online by the end of this year, by the end of twenty twenty two. And if you're committed, if you're serious about having those results, if you're coachable, I can help you get there. Okay? But you gotta be willing to get out of your comfort zone, right? Start something new, invest as low as ninety nine dollars, okay, and put in the work. Pretty sure it's like two nine depending on which one you get set up with, mm -hmm. if it's like two ninety nine a month reoccurring. She's making it sound like you just need to give me three hundred dollars and that's it and you're done. But it's yeah. like we know that's not true. So if that's you, okay, and you wanna get started, um regardless of the packages, just click on the little poll here. I'll get back to you. Maybe we're gonna be able to get on a call together to connect, get to know each other, um, and uh, if we're the right fit for each other, we'll get you started. Um and if you you don't have as well as ninety nine dollars right now. Your only job is to figure it out. Your only job is to figure it out. Like sell something at your house. Like do something. Anybody can figure out how to have ninety nine dollars. All right. So I'll leave you guys on that because I have to go back home and start my mentorship calls. Let's run the day. I th I thought that they were only opening the one ninety nine ones. I didn't know they were that desperate to do just the all of them. Yeah, that's embarrassing. They it's like okay, we'll just figure it out. Like if you don't have a hundred dollars like just get it okay well then just do that thing don't right yeah <laughs> you were able to come up with a hundred dollars yeah. doing something else maybe do that instead yeah. do like <laughs> flipping stuff on facebook marketplace or something right like, it's that's super in, entitled unaware and just not it's yeah it's not smart you're still going to be investing more than they're telling you in any mlm and if you're not <laughs> recruiting two new people each month into your downline then you like you have to pay that still but they say they say that like oh well it's, it's waived if you like recruit new people and it's like is it waived or is it that you've now like made enough like that money like makes up or to like cancels it out that right make sense yeah um no, that's weird but I then mean, that's the, not sustainable two people a month and, and they're all just like it's so easy it's so doable it's like no it's not no, it's dude not if every person in young living recruited two people a, a month the whole world population like within a few months dude because like, i think there's like yeah. six million people in young living across the world that's disgusting i know isn't it gross well there's eight billion humans so yeah that just happened okay so that's it for this video <laughs> thank you for watching i appreciate it i will have all of savannah's social medias and her youtube channel and all that linked below Thanks, uh, and then on the in screen as well so please go support her channel follow her she is amazing you're and, amazing um thanks. you're welcome and yeah so thanks for coming thanks for hiding in my closet i appreciate I'm it i'm going back in the closet bye yeah no, so she's kidding. gonna go hide in the closet <laughs> and wait for the next people to check into this room so she can film a video with them mm -hmm. that's what that's what i do that's actually weird. so no <laughs> well, yeah it does okay no that's not what i do it's a lie yeah. chelsea's a liar uh, so, so stay spicy <laughs> and remember how valuable you are your feelings are valid and i will see you in my next video goodbye bye